Hey guys, my name is Platinum Purge, and today I am doing a requested tutorial on how to get any kind of like materials or models from the workshop and import them into SourceHammer.exe. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and subscribe to whatever add-on you want. So today we're going to be using more materials. So guys, what you want to do, you want to go to your Gary's mod, open it, open up add-ons and check that it has successfully subscribed. As you can tell, it's now uh, subscribed and should be in the add-ons folder. Now you want to make your way back to uh, the folders section of your computer. Okay, so the next step is to locate your Gary's mod folder. To do this, you've got to go to Program Files x 86 if you're on a 64-bit version uh, computer. You then want to find the Steam folder, which is here. Go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then find Gary's Mod. This is where you want to be uh, on two screens here, as you can tell here. For me, I'm just going to use the shortcut I created earlier. Okay, next stop is to open up the add-ons folder. So, what you want to do, you want to go to Gary's Mod, and add-ons. Here you want to open up the bin folder. Okay what you want to do is search for the latest um, add-on you just downloaded. So mine was called materials and we will use the more materials mod right here. Okay next step is to find the gmod.exe. If you don't have this I will leave a link to download it in the description below. All you have to do is just put it inside the Gary's Mod bin folder. Okay, what you want to do is you want to drag over the GMA and place it on top of the gmod.exe. This will then extract all the add-ons. It might come up with a black window depending how big the add-on is. So for example, if I was to do it for this one, it will come up with a black box. And that was just extracting all the materials. Now, if I come out here, I should be able to find the more materials and more materials mod, as you can tell. Perfect. Okay, next step is to find the materials, so you to find the actual folder. So I'm going to use this one, the LUA and materials here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to negotiate to my Gary's mod. Here, I'm going to come back one, go to Gary's mod, and then I'm going to create a folder called materials and models all lowercase. And simply you have to put this in the Gary's mod, Gary's mod folder, so materials and models. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this concrete, glass, liquid, metal into the materials folder. Okay, once that is done, we're going to negotiate back to my Gary's mod and open up a project that I could be working on. So for example, I'm going to go to bin, go to my bin and open up hammer.exe. I uh, will just go on this auto save one that I've had earlier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find that more materials mod. We will uh, test it on this pole here. So what you want to do, you want to go to your toggle texture application click on browse and then down where it says filter down in the bottom left you want to type something like concrete and let's see if we can find the more materials or even if we type more materials it might come up that way or if we type in Star Wars as you can tell this is the Star Wars material pack that I've downloaded earlier and should uh, appear and all you're going to do is right click around and you will be able to go ahead and paste it all on. By the way, to get in the camera and zoom around like this, all you have to do is press Z or Z on your keyboard and you can fly around and you can just right click a little by few. Anyway, that's how you extract custom models and materials um, into your texture pack. Um, it's the same for um, uh, models as well all you have to do is place it in so whilst I turn this into a plot dynamic and I was to find a world model it will all, all the all the model folders are all here as you can tell so if I was to turn this into a bridge console which I've extracted from a renter all I have to do is click on it click apply and there you go that is how you do the models 
Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next tutorial.